Hi, this is a quick video response to a question in Gazebo Answers, which says the following. It says, is it possible to change the mesh size in a chakra file? And the, the answer is yes. It's exactly the same as you can as you do it in the URDF. So I'm going to um, do a practical application of this answer that this user gives so that you can see how exactly this is done and what are the effects. So I've used um, ROS Development Studio for this. I've launched a simulation in this case. It, um, it's a mesh in the form of this this character of the Goodman series and what I want it to be is for example I want it to be bigger so we can go here to the ID and I've, I've created this package which is called Harrow Description and has loads of files and directories and so on but what it's important for us is the URDF or the chakra, in this case, that you've created. It's exactly the same thing. So if we go to the URDF, you can see here that when you add a link, you have several parts and you have to go to the visual one or to the, also the, you can use it in the collision. It's exactly the same thing. In this case, we are using a sphere as a collision shape, so you don't you don't apply scales there. But in the visuals, we are using a mesh, and meshes have this variable which is called scale, which allows you to modify the scale of the three axes. So that this one is the x axis, then you have the y axis and the z axis. So for example, if we want to do it bigger, let's say 10 times bigger, then I'll just put 10 times in each one of the axes. We save it, and then we relaunch so that, in this case, I have this launch, which will relaunch all the world. So we wait. There you go. So now we have a mesh that it's 10 times bigger than the original. And you can use this as you wish. You can do it smaller. You just have to put here, for example, 0 0.1. This will make it 10 times smaller than the original one. So let's relaunch again. There we go. As you can see now here, it's super tiny. There we go. In comparison with the one by one box that we have here, so it's really, really tiny. But also what you can do is deform the shape. So you, you don't have to do it proportionally. So we are going to put the original scale, except, for example, let's put here, um, I don't know, 10 times bigger in the z-axis. So then we go here, we relaunch the simulation again. In this case, because we are using ROS Development Studio, it's much easier to relaunch the simulation. If you were in your local computer, then you you would have to kill the, um, the gazebo system and relaunch it again or remove the model and respawn it. There you go. So now we have a highly deformed shape in the z-axis. Maybe this is useful if you have some, some mesh that it's deformed by default and you want to resize it, then you can use it for this.
And that's quite it. So hope this answer was useful. If you liked the video, just um, think of subscribing down below. And if you have any comments whatsoever, then leave it in the comments section. And I leave the code that I used in the answer or the gazebo answer. I leave it here. And that's quite it. Thank you very much and hope to see you soon.